Okay, everyone. So now let's talk about increment and decrement operators. So some things to take note of is when we are using these operators, the double plus sign and the double minus sign, this will either increase a value by 1 or decrease a value by 1. And we also have to consider when we are going to be using pre-increment or post-increment, pre-decrement or post-decrement. So let's try to look into here and let's, let me just copy some line break here. Okay, I just paused the video so that I can go and put some line breaks and horizontal rule. Now, in our first example here, I have a string literal here that just indicates the variable. So that's why I had the backslash there. And we want to have this incremented by 1. And what we want to do is to try and go and echo, echo this should return a value of, let's concatenate. This is one of the string operators, the value, and we're going to do a pre-increment. What are we going to get? We do get a value of 2 and 1 plus 1, and we get that value of 2. However, if we do a post increment, let's say we have a post increment here. Let me just go copy that and break there. Echo, this should return a value of, then let's have that dollar sign value of 2. What are we going to get? Take note, this is our current value, variable declaration of 2 that contains the value of 2 are we going to get it's not incrementing as you can see here okay so we do see here that this is not getting incremented by one we still have that value of two so that is because if you try to read some forums you would see that it means that when we use the post increment this is designed to increase the value of a variable after its current value is used in an expression and it will not be immediately affecting the current value of the variable within that expression so the increment is deferred until after the value is used so when I say after the value is used, let's go add here a var dump. And this is similar with JavaScript, equivalent to console.log. You will see that this value 2 should now be having, if we use that value 2 that we incremented here, we should be able to print out 3 on the next line. And you will see we get integer 3. Okay, so if you would want... To make sure that you increment a value by one it's better that you use the pre-increment pre-increment which involves having the operators before the variable that you want to go and increase a value by one so just have that in mind and this same concept applies with pre-decrement so if i wanted to go and let's just go get this and let's have that in our pre-decrement here and let's give it a value of three so we should be reducing this value and let's see what are we going to get we do get of course we have to use the minus sign we do get a value of two and in here if we do the exact same thing just going to get that here and instead of plus plus we'll do and then that's a time we want to decrement it we'll have to as I mentioned, we will need to use the value. So we do get the return value of 4. But if we want to see that getting implemented, we'll have to use that value. And we do see that we now have a value of 3. So we deducted one value from our uh, decrement post-decrement operator when we use the post-decrement operator. So just have that in mind when you're using the increment and decrement operators, they're almost the same. Just remember that if you want to go and increment the value before using it in an expression, then you should use the pre-increment and the pre-decrement. We also use the pre-increment and the pre-decrement if we wanted to increment the value immediately or if we want the variable to be modified before it is used in a larger expression. The post increment, on the other hand, if we want to use the current value of the variable in an expression and then increment it afterward, you can use the post increment or the post decrement operators. So that's it for the increment and decrement values. Let's just talk a little bit more about string operators in PHP. We have seen this in action in the past. We do have two string operators in the PHP language. So let's have string operator 1 assign the value of hello and then 
string operator to assign the value of let's have that dollar sign string operator one and let's concatenate the world the word world okay so this will now this should be able to produce some text let me just make sure that we have uh hr here and i think we have double hr there so let's start to remove that and let's start to echo out i think we should echo out this one or yep this one let's see what we're going to see here we do get that hello world and i'm not sure why we have why do we have that extra semicolon there so i think we made a mistake here so we have to have that echo here just to remove that extra semicolon there so sometimes that really happens so it's just a matter of looking at your code and we do see that we now have that hello world and let me just add a space there and we were able to concatenate it using the string operator which is the concatenation operator another string operator in the php language is what we call the concatenating assignment operator so that means if we try to go and have the same example let's just have a line break just to show us here how that's going to work let's have the string hello and instead of using it this manner we will be using the concatenating assignment operator and that will just be the dot and the, the equal sign and i think we would want to have this and let's go have an echo line break here just to separate our and i think we don't need to really clear that so we now have hello world and hello world okay so that's how we can try to maximize the use of the string operators so these are our let's echo out here h3 php string operators so i hope you got the idea on how to utilize the string operators and the increment and decrement operators in this lesson so thank you and see you on our next lessons